This is a gap calculation form that you can use for estimating the skin gap between two adjacent fields. Um, the problem that I have here is actually a cranial spinal uh, technique, but basically just using the gap calculation to estimate that gap between the two adjacent spine fields. So um, the primary um, goal in this gap calculation is estimating this, the skin gap. Uh, between the two fields. What we're actually trying to do is uh, gap on the skin so that you can match these two divergent fields uh, down here at your um, desired depth. So this D here is actually the depth of um, your calculation between these two adjacent fields. So we don't we don't care so much what the calculation depth was for field one or field two, we actually care about this depth um, between these two fields, uh, the depth that you want to match these fields at. So with this problem here, um, w the three things that are um, of most concern is the depth and then that uh, field length of field one and two. And you end up taking half of the field length because that's where the divergence is at between the two. We know there's no divergence at the central axis, um, but our divergence here in estimating these for our formula is this divergence um, of these fields. So it's the same kind of thing here. The You have your length of field one and um, the divergence of both of these based on these triangles here. So the length of field one for this problem is 30 centimeters and field two is 24. And our distance is 100 for these fields. It doesn't matter if it's SAD or SSD. And generally when you're doing problems today, um, it's gonna be 100 SSD. The depth for these fields is five and a half. And again, that is at the point where you're matching these fields. So when we plug these into this uh, formula below, um, this S1 being field one, we know we have 30 for our length. And we have five and a half centimeters for our depth and a distance of 100. So you just plug in the information into this formula. And for to field two, we have 24 for our length. Again, five and a half centimeters and 100. So this part of the formula here, you're gonna get 0.055. And then you're actually just multiplying it by half of the field length. Because you can see here, you're taking your field length and dividing it by two. So the first field is gonna be 15 times 0.055. And I believe it's 0.825. And the second field is gonna be 12 times 0.055. And I believe this is 0.66. And then you're gonna add those two together and you should get 1.48. So basically you're going to you know, round that to 1.5 centimeter skin gap and that's all you need to do for the gap calculation.